guys, this will be a video about the video <laughs> I posted to ask me your questions. Now, first question is Subi Kid. How did you start getting into the car scene or and Subarus? Fast and Furious. That's how I got into this car scene. There's Concourse de Elegance here in Palo Alto at Stanford College, but now it moved to um, Pebble Beach. There are cars and coffees, and then there's just little car shows here and there around where I live that I would always go to. So that's how I got into the car scene. Subarus, I saw an 04 STI on the street and I fell in love. That's how, from that moment on, I was like, I wanna own a Subaru. I, I mainly wanted an 04 STI, but I fell in love with the way the hatch looks and opted to get one of those. Next question, I OMG Bullet, would you ever consider buying an 04 through 07 Subaru STI? Yes, like I just said, I fell in love with the 04 STI and I would definitely consider buying one of those, but I don't think it's smart for me to own two cars right now. Unless it was a beater car and I could just garage this, but I mean, I love driving this every day, so. Lumpy Custard One, what was your previous car? This is cars. I only had one. It was a 2001 Acura 3.2 TL, front wheel drive, luxurious car. It sucked. Eric Trang, opinions on the 2015-16 WRX STI. I have not driven a new WRX, but I have driven the new 15 STI because my girlfriend's uncle owns one. So my thoughts on that is, I love the steering rack, the way it handles. I like the six speed transmission. And I also like how you can change from Sport Plus or Sport Sharp, Intelligent and all that. And of course, the better brakes than my WRX. But I do not the way, sorry, I do not like the way it looks. And I do not like the interior because they put fake carbon fiber, which makes it kind of look cheap. And I also like how on this one, and all the older versions, the tachometer is right in the center. I love that genuine, unique Subaru look. A, a Cruz said, how are you able to afford all the mods you've done to your car? How old are you? Did you have to save up a long time to buy the hatch? Other than that, your car looks and sounds nice as fuck. Well, thank you. First, I'm 21 years old. I'll turn 22 in February. How long did I save up? I saved up, saved up whew, a long time, a very long time. Ever since I probably got my license at 16. I bought this car a year and a half ago, so I was like 19, 20. How are you able to afford? Well, right out of high school, I started working at a school. I've been there for four years. I've worked my way up each year, you know, earning a little more because I've stayed. And I don't buy unnecessary things. So the only unnecessary things I buy is usually I love to eat out, so that's it. I don't, I have a, a Hero 3, I didn't buy the new 3 Plus or the 4. I just don't buy unnecessary things. But all that money that I save up, I like to spend it on my car or presents for the girlfriend. So that's how I afford to pay for this car. The Mario Man 08, how much money have you put into your WRX? Well, let's see, I bought this car. If you look at this for installations, maintenance, and services, I probably have enough to almost buy a my car now if I bought it brand new again so think about that if you actually want to add up everything it's on my wheel well account feel free to do that but I did not put up the prices of installations services and maintenance so we all know that stuff costs a lot if you don't do it your own Jordan Johnson said how much do you pay for a Subi month I don't I bought it full is it possible to afford while in college like me yes it is but be smart about your financial reasoning. Don't spend all your money and have zero left in the bank account. Make sure you have extra. Can you give advice about maintaining them? Take care of it. If you beat on it, make sure you check all oil, check all fluids, check brakes, check that you double check all your work if you install stuff just to make sure nothing goes wrong. And you hear a lot about ring lens and rod bearings. So that's what I said again, tuning, taking care of it and making sure that you just see that your car is running 100% if you're someone who doesn't like to maintain your car, like just to run it and wait for the oil light or something to come on, then probably not the best car for you because this car needs a lot of love to run properly. Mom um, said, why not STI? Well, STI is a lot more expensive and I made my car faster and handle better than an STI for less money. Next thing would be brakes. So I can say I can outrun an STI and I can outperform handle-wise an STI, but I can't outbrake yet. Future Dinosaur, questions for the video. If and when Subaru decides to bring back the hatch, would you consider upgrading? Definitely, yes, but it all comes down to looks. If it looks hideous, then no thank you. If it looks sexy and it looks badass, then of course I would consider trading in, but there's a couple things. It has to look good, 
there has to be a change of interior make it more modern excuse me and they have to do something with the transmission maybe make it a six speed like the new wrx but besides that Wizzy love god how did you get your car was it your first give some tips for buying a first car do you suggest an inexpensive car first this was not my first car, like I said, I had an Acura TL. Give some tips for buying a new first car. Well, make sure you have enough money. So if you buy a car, make sure you have a good, decent amount of money left in the bank account. So in case anything goes wrong, because I would not suggest buying a new car and having no money. My girlfriend, she wanted an Audi A3 and she was going to finance it. But unfortunately, when we did the math, if she wanted it, she wouldn't have any money left in the bank. So she would have no money to go out shopping, to buy clothes, go on fun trips or anything. So MF3 Enjoy says, what is your take on a bug eye? I just picked one up and I'm going through the engine right now. Well, congrats on picking one up. Great car. And my thoughts on the bug eye, I like it. I mean, it's a Subaru, they're all nice. There's no Subaru out there that I won't hate on unless you're slammed to the ground and not functional at all. So as long as you're not doing that, good. Lux Sniping Home. Are you looking for more power in your WRX in the future? Of course, bigger turbo, unequal length headers. Although unequal length, I'm not sure because I don't think I can give up the sound. So of course more power, but not right now. Ricardo Villa, Villa, Villa. sorry, I don't, I can't pronounce that. How did you go about getting your sponsors? Technically all he is really as a sponsor is stickers and shirts. So no car parts, nothing. He didn't buy or give me any of the car parts on here. The rumble stickers that you guys won, he gave them to me for free, so I'm giving them out to you. So it's spreading his business. I just asked him on Instagram, he said sure, and he sent me a banner to rep. That's it. Kenny Tran, STI or WRX? I already kind of mentioned that. STI is nice because of the brakes, the six speed, the differential changes, and all that. But WRX because you can put less money in to make it as fast, handle better, and such. Anthony Ton, did you pay for your car? Kind of going back to what I said before, I paid for three-fourths of my car and my grandparents paid for the rest, or my grandma's. Unfortunately, they passed away very shortly after I bought my car, so I like to think that this is also a piece of them that will always be with me. And I'm very fortunate. A lot of people ask me, mommy and daddy pay for it. No, mommy and daddy don't. Technically, I only, or not technically, I only live with my mom, dad. That's another story. Don't really want to get into that. I'm 21 and people look at me and think that I do not put my money into my car, someone else does, and that's not true. So, hope you guys didn't judge me there and think, oh, someone else is paying for his car. The only time someone has paid for my car is to cover me the extra one fourth. I pay my insurance, I pay for all the oil changes, I pay for my, all my services, I pay for all my car parts. The only thing actually my mom has paid for is gas when I really needed it and I didn't have my debit card. But anyways, that's my car. If you have any more questions, please feel free to ask more. I am always happy to answer them. Till next time, guys. Peace. On peace for the giveaway. I appreciate that. Um, the car's warming up. But check it out. Jeremy's car's back. It is insane. It is nice. I love it. I drove it first person to drive it and it is awesome so expect to see a full review of it soon anyways guys um but it's crazy he's probably gonna get spaces for the front to even out the suspension but it's fun since you guys seem to enjoy the giveaway so much I think I will do another one but it will be a bigger prize so it's not just gonna be comment down below it's gonna there's gonna be some steps to it um, it's definitely gonna be better than a sticker so yeah I mean we'll see we'll see but anyways guys thanks peace